Hello everyone, we'd like to introduce you to Gainesville High School, a newly established school located in Gainesville, Virginia. Our amazing school is utilizing a technique called the Universal Design for Learning, also known as the UDL. The UDL is leading the way students and teachers work in order to improve education within the schools and most importantly within the classroom. The UDL philosophy has taken higher education by storm. The UDL is found in places of higher academia such as Harvard University, Boston University, and our very own Gainesville High School. So what exactly is UDL? UDL exhibits a new way of learning that allows for teachers to help students overcome their learning obstacles. It does this by the three pillars of engagement, action, and expression. UDL is being implemented in every single classroom here in Gainesville High School. Unlike traditional education, UDL is focused on making sure that all students understand a learning target from a lesson. A fundamental of UDL is being able to represent multiple ways of understanding the material without having to rely on traditional testing. Some accommodations include presentations, public speaking, or even seminars. Now let's take a look at some insider information. UDL to me, um, the best way of summing this up is an analogy that I've heard is kind of like a buffet. All students learn differently, and UDL does a great job of allowing, giving kids multiple ver uh, ways of displaying what they've learned uh, or how to learn things um, through a, a variety of different things. So just like a buffet, you have a variety of choices. It's the same thing with UDL. We have a variety of choices to pick from. So UDL is implemented through professional development in the school. We had a guest speaker come out uh, in the summer. We'll have him come, same month, come back out again in the next summer in August. Um, and then we, inside, we've done a book study. Um, and then we've also had trained some of the teachers so that they can learn um, the, diff the different ways to implement UDL into their classroom. So the way I like to start using UDL is I like to identify my students' barriers and strengths. Once I've identified my students' barrier and strengths, I'm able to create my curriculum in a way that will be successful for them. And that could be instructing them in many different ways. Maybe it's a project-based learning lesson, maybe it's an, a, a lecture, maybe it could be um, using digital tools. And once I've instructed them in a way that's successful for them, then I can move into assessing them in a way that fits their needs. So maybe a student's not great at writing, then I will allow them to do a verbal essay. Or maybe they're not great at um, getting up in front of a class and doing um, presentations, then maybe they have the opportunity to do a video recording. So just giving lots of options and seeing your student as an individual rather than instructing the class as a whole. Personally, I'm a hands-on learner. When given an essay-based assignment, I cannot show or meet my full potential at all. Um, I do not meet the standards, learning targets, etc. Um, but with UDL at my school, this has given me the opportunity to show my understanding of a topic throughout different ways, as in videos, presentations, etc. Um, UDL has affected my learning experience in the best way possible, and I love it. UDL is shaping up to be more engaging than traditional high school. By letting students choose how they will learn, they are learning a critical ability of self-autonomy. Is UDL the learning style of the future?